everyone. Hey, everybody. Hi. Hi. It's Dana. And it's Heather. And we're Sofa Moms, Moms on the Go. go. Woohoo. So today we have a jam-packed show. Yes, jam-packed. Um, so we might talk a little bit fast, but don't worry, because we're leaving links at the bottom after the show, and there's going to be a giveaway, and it's going to be so much fun. It's going to be awesome. We're really excited. Yes. So for this show, we are talking about the hottest baby and toddler gifts for 2017. Great gifts for you to give to the baby or to the parents, or maybe new parents to be. Sure. I think baby showers coming up, too. I just had one. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. And um, also... Um, uh, gifts for like birthday parties. I have just had two birthdays, so you know it can be for anything. So these are great Definitely. ideas when, especially for we have a bunch of single friends too that are like, oh my gosh, I'm glad you're doing these shows because we don't know what to do. <laughs> exactly. And I'm like, well, here you go, and then just like you just happen to have click the link, and then you're done. Exactly, so. exactly. Um, so if you're there, thank you so much for joining us yes. today. We know it's the day before Thanksgiving, and everyone's running around getting their last minute uh, preparations for dinner and. All of that fun stuff. Um, so we appreciate you being there. And if you're watching the replay, please feel free to leave any comments or um, anything below because we do check it a little, a little obsessively on my front, I guess too. But I love to see. I hey, do too. Susan. Thanks for coming. Hey, Susan. Um, so we love to see how um, everyone is doing with the uh, products, which ones they like, and so on and so forth. Then, so if you have any questions, we'll be more than glad to um, forward them on to. Uh, Best in Baby Biz and Kids Magazine, which we're going to talk about right now. Yes. So. And so. This episode, we partnered with Best in Baby Biz and Kids Magazine, known as Bib for short. And if you haven't read the magazine, definitely check it out. It's a pretty cool magazine. Um, it's digital. Yeah, it's digital. And they release three issues a year. So um, we love that. And each issue has a click-to-shop catalog, which is great. So it's like an online thing, you know. So when you're like, oh, I have to go find the link later, no. We have technology. Mm -hmm. So you can actually shop from the catalog. And it has um, click-to-shop catalog with deals of all the best baby and kids gifts you would want. So uh, You know what's really cool, too, is you yeah. know how we basically almost every show we do a giveaway? Yeah. They do a giveaway in every issue, and we're doing a giveaway with them in every in the, this show. Yeah. So definitely stay tuned to the end. We'll tell you how to enter um, some pretty cool gifts to give, and I'm so excited I'm for this super giveaway, too. I'm super excited, too. We love to give yeah, away. Yeah, we have lots of giveaways going and this on. This is so, so. great. So the, just to give you a little bit of a background also about Best in Baby Biz magazine, it has articles about parenting, DIY, recipes, um, fashion for kids and moms, which is great. So it's not only for your little ones. Maybe mm -hmm. you need a little, um, you know, a little poke as to what's the new and fall fashion or winter fashion. Exactly. They have great articles on that. Um, and also interviews with celebrities and interviews of mom and dad inventors, which we embrace. Yes, and you know what we love about this magazine? It's owned and run by a mom named Tasha, who we've gotten to know really well. Yes, and hey, Tasha. Hi, there. Tasha. We bonded <laughs> over, and she has um, a little one. And within all her, the juggle is real. She has grown this to 70,000 subscribers just through word of mouth uh, with moms just loving the magazine. So that's an amazing. So. Kudos to you, Tasha. We love mompreneurs, and congratulations, yes. and we're excited to help you promote today. So Definitely. So we have a special treat from Bib Magazine. Mm -hmm. They're giving away something awesome, and as we said before, you're definitely going to want to see this. It's keep listening to the Facebook Live to hear what the surprise is and to enter the giveaway. You just have to like this Facebook Live and comment, but we are also going to have something similar to like a raffle copter that we'll leave a link below. I believe we'll start it at about 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay. so stay tuned and we'll, we'll post everything so we'll keep you in the know. We'll um, in the know. We're also going to add links to Bibbs Magazine's Facebook and Instagram page um, in the comments and the link to their latest issue which just came out, their holiday issue. Yeah, so really I can't wait to, uh, I've been looking through it and... Exported. I can't talk right now. Exported. We're in the Thanksgiving. <laughs> Thanksgiving mode. Okay. So we are rolling right into yes, super fun rolling. products. Okay. This first one, we'll I leave a link this. to it at the bottom. It's called Fitted Tot. So the link is fittedtot.com. I and Heather, we both love subscription boxes. Yes, love like, them. Love subscription boxes. Um, I love every month getting, or every quarter, 
getting a new box to my door. It's like Christmas every time. Totally. Well, how great is it? Fitted Tot brings the boutique experience to moms at home. So it's owned by a husband and wife duo, and wife, mom, and dad duo, Ashley and John. And they were tired of seeing all the same clothes in the stores, so they decided to create their own um, their own subscription box for babies and toddlers. So Ashley also wanted to connect with moms, connect moms with small businesses that offer very high quality, on trend, unique, different clothes that you don't see, you know, in all the big box stores and accessories. So basically, what you do is like with any subscription box, I feel like you um, take an online style quiz. So you create your tots style profile, which I think is so cute. I love that. Um, and then a stylist picks hand picks items, and a surprise style box a month is then shipped to you. So moms get five to eight products each in each box, and they try it on at home. They see if it fits well, which is what you normally do with kids. I never try on clothes with kids in the no, store anyway, I don't but it just makes it that much easier. I'm um, whatever you don't uh, like, you just return in five days, and you get a pre. Um, what is it called? A prepaid envelope. So it's super easy. You try on the clothes, whatever you like for your child, you keep and then you pay for. And whatever you um, didn't fit right or so on, you just put in the prepaid envelope and you send it right back. It's only twenty dollars a month, which is great. So that's the styling fee. But when you purchase two or more items from the box, the twenty dollars gets credited towards your purchase. So it's almost like a, a wash that. there. Um, and if you love everything in your box, you get fifteen percent off the entire. Uh, box itself, which is great. Yeah, I'm looking so. right now at their website, so I'll give you a little look at this cute little. Can you see that? Outfit? Oh my gosh, look at the little baby. So they use, um, I guess they use some brands that are T, oh, which I, I love. T. Oh, They're the all softest the knits. Fabrics. Capital K, Le Top, Design History, Egg by Susan Lazar. Oh my gosh. Jules, No Heat, Young and Free, and. Um, so they've got a really great... I love this stuff because moms just don't have time. So it's a personal shopper for your kids. Exactly. And it's great. One cool part about it is that the TOTS... It's called TOTS to TOTS Give Back Program. So this is an option for us to actually donate any of our outgrown fitted TOT clothing to a family in need. Aww, and you, all you have to do is just request a prepaid envelope. And then they'll send it to you. And then you put the clothes in. And that, that starts actually in spring of 2018. But a new that's program such a they're doing. That's back. amazing. So we talk about gratitude this week, and it's Thanksgiving. So I love, I love that. Yeah, I think that's wonderful. Bit of tots giving back. So um, kudos to you. So now we have. Um, if you have any questions about fitted tot, let us know um, below. We're super excited to be. Um, they're part of the best in baby biz. So now we've got the um, the Wombi Air. Swaddle, it's okay. Be I love that it's like an air swaddle. It's like, like a super freaky, expensive like the air. shoe, like a shoe yeah. that like people like stand the, like in line for. Women, yes. moms will be standing in line for the Wombi Air. Okay, I forgot to do the backwards thing. Um, it's a one-step baby swaddle, a soft, stretchy cocooning swaddle that zips up in, moves with the baby, and it's vented to increase airflow. So let me take this out of the box so you can Let's see. see um, First of all, look how cute the, the print is. I'm all about I the love print. that. So you've got the swaddle here, and it's vented in the front so they can actually breathe. And it's pronounced wombi, so um, like womb. like a womb, like the environment, and it soothes the baby and comforts it. And um, Hi, Yessie. Oh, hi. How are you? Um, we're talking about the wombi air swaddle. So, um, you know, I remember taking the swaddling class, and it I was felt. not, well, I, the first <laughs> one swaddled like a, like a champ. The next one we called her, she was always in the, like, busted out. Like, every one time. arm out. Yeah, yeah and she wasn't that? a great, oh. and she wasn't a great sleeper. So, um, you know, you can over swaddle, um, swaddling too tightly, I guess, like, can give hip dysplasia, possibly. Mm -hmm. um, not a doctor, but, you know, that's just a tip we saw. And um, swaddle blankets coming unraveled over and over, waking up the baby, and it's just like a constant, oh gosh. So um, anyways, it eliminates a lot of these risks, this wombi swaddle. It zips up the front, and um, it was invented, of course, Bye. by a mom. So Karen Barsky, um, she's got, God bless her little heart, five kids. <laughs> and she lives in Georgia, which I used to live there. Hey, Karen. And currently, and is a 21-year nurse. Go to nurses. My mom is a nurse too. Ooh. Sorry, 
Um, so I just love that she came up with this Wombi Air. It's ventilated design so excessive heat can escape. And I know you moms, you read about the SIDS stuff, yes. um, which is, you know, a sleeping issue that can happen with your baby. And so I guess overheating at night is a SIDS factor, like a SIDS risk factor. Mm -hmm. So with the Wombi Air's baby temperature, it's all regulated with this little vent and nobody's busting a move out in this thing. So we love this. So that's the Wombi Air. Then we have the hybrid. This one I am officially obsessed with, and I'll wait till you explain why. Yeah. Because you're going to see why. Do you see why? Hi. <laughs> okay, so we'll have to take this off. Yeah. Um, okay, so this is, whoops, I'm going to hold it. A hanger. <laughs> this is the Wombi Hybrid. So, it's a four-in-one swaddle sleeper that offers four combinations. So, you ready? Arms out sleeper. When the baby begins to roll, it's no longer safe to swaddle. So if they roll over with their arms tucked in, they can use the arms to roll back over, and this poses a, Welcome like I said, you know, suffocation rip. So um, sleeves on for winter use with double detachable Wombi Nature Soothe pacifiers. So let me take this off. We left the leg. You know why I love that? Why? Because how many times in the middle of the night, if your child yes. is a pacifier lover, I did have one passy sleeper. Wake up in the middle of the night crying because they couldn't find the pacifier. Yes. It is attached. It's attached. They cannot lose so it. Can you see? I love this thing. It's My, amazing. It's great. My youngest used to have four pacifiers. I used to put one in each corner of the crib because I was so scared he was going to wake up in the middle of the night. Okay, and then, and then you can also take the sleeves off. Look, this is awesome. Where was this? Okay, we have the yard guy. Yes. The weed whacker. Hopefully you can hear us. Let's move this forward. There we go. Um, okay, is that yours? Okay. Yep. So we have the arms. You can remove and detach the arms. And here's one of the arms. You've got the passy. It's amazing. So it's for a newborn big baby, which is like 4 to 19 pounds, and a mega baby, which <laughs> is 6 to name. 9 months which is 20 to 26 pounds, which, um, let's see, which is, let's see, my kids were eight pounds when they were born. So they were mega babies pretty fast. Yeah. They were big babies. They grow so. fast. So anyways, this is amazing. And it's made of cotton and spandex, so it's stretchy. And um, the pacifiers are, um, you know, BPA-free, phthalate-free, all that good stuff moms worry about. Right. And, um, what else? Let's see. I think that's I it. Just needed this. It's just great. I wish I had and this, zipper too. You know, I was terrible yeah, at swaddling. Zipper. My husband would be like, "We're going to make a burrito," and he would wrap up. I could wrap like you would know. But I can't. I could I wrap. I could do a serious wrap. But the second kid was like, "Boom!" And we come in. and We called it like. Well, I just have to say, has anybody seen Dodgeball? Yes. Okay. Well, there's a part with. Um, What's the guy's name? He's so funny. The main guy from Dodgeball. Oh, you know my it. gosh. Why okay, can't I can't remember guy. his Will name. Will Ferrell, not Will Ferrell. No, not Will Ferrell. Comment below if you can remember the main character from Dodgeball. Yes. Not Ben Stiller, but the other guy. And he was like, I think, oh, no, wait. So our old school, old school. And he's oh. holding the T-rings, and he's like, still holding, still holding. Well, anyway, sorry. That That's was my. Right. That was Drew. Every time <laughs> we walk in there, she was like, I busted out of the swaddle. I am going to. And we're like, old school's happening in there. Anyway, sorry. To That's go wonderful. On a rant. So, okay. So that is the Wombi Hybrid. Yes. So give me some likes, uh, thumbs up if you like that in the comments below. Give me a baby emoji. We need some emojis. Yeah. We have, there are some fun emojis out there. It's yeah, amazing. Totally. Okay. All right. Next up is the, this is a big one. This is the Baby Bjorn Carrier One Outdoors. Now, there, we are in the world of baby carrying. We learned this when we were at, when we went to MommyCon, and we see it all over. It's so much wow. easier. It's, it's a such a world. hot thing. It's oh, a world I wish I had a baby carrier. I know. I was not smart. No, I mean you uh, could first do time things. mom, like totally clueless. So, and especially if you have a, you have a um, a baby that is very clingy. Yes. You can Let get us things know done if you can hear us. House. Let us yeah. know if you can hear us. Is this hysterical? Yeah. So we've got the yard guys going by. We're trying to get some nice. So we're outside in the South Florida. Um, we can do shows from outside during Thanksgiving week because we're yeah, living it's in like South Florida. Degrees now. Yeah. So it's if you're crazy. tuning in. We're live from we South live. Florida. We're from the Wellington area. Yes. Okay, so All this right, is our comments. the Baby Bjorn Carrier One Outdoors. Um, it's an ergonomic baby carrier for people that have like a really active lifestyle. It's Florida. Uh, what I love is that the materials water repel uh, the materials 
water repellent and breathable. Look okay. how gorgeous this is, first of all. I love the colors now. They're not just black. Here, I can just scoot over a little bit and give you some. Um, and then, so here is the carrier itself. It's um, stylish and sporty. It has a lot of the breathable, like the vented fabric, which makes it so you're not hot. You're carrying a baby on here. The last thing you want to be is yeah. hot or to have it's your like baby have be a hot. Sweaty back. Yeah. Ugh. Or sweaty front. Ugh. Ugh. So there's four front and back carrying positions that you can do with this. And I wish we had a baby because then we could like whip them around. Know. But um, Baby Bjorn's actually been around since we've had little ones yes, as well. But it's changed a lot. Changed a whole lot. So this is for newborns, and you actually could hold up, up to a baby that's three. So the minimum weight, actually, this is really what you need to look at, is eight pounds, um, and then the maximum is 33 pounds. So if you have a little a little tot that's under 33 pounds, pop them I in can here and get put my kids in there. No, I know, right? No. <laughs> but this this is such. This would be like an ultimate primo gift. Yeah. Um, it's Great beautiful. for travel during the holidays. Yes. So if you've got a, um, I don't know what the rules are actually for flying, but at least I know you have to have some kind of car seat, but at least right. you carry them in this when you're like, will they let you have your baby on you as you go through the, uh, I wonder because of the metal. Well, there's uh, no metal on no, here. No, there's this no metal. All like plastic. plastic. Stuff. I wonder. Anyways. That's a really good question. We'll have yeah. to look up that too. You can hear us. Oh, thank you. Yes, good. thank you. Thanks, Susan. Sometimes we get a little in the... Uh, this is a little bit delayed because I already saw that on here, so... Oh, okay. Um, we run a little... So I will do... I'm going to talk about the hand socks oh. next. I used to call these um, boxing gloves. So my boys, and especially when they're when babies are first born, their nails are so sharp oh my gosh. and long, and you're like, oh my gosh, what are we going to... Scratching and... Yes, they're so... Uh, but they're brittle, so you can't, you're not supposed to cut them. I used to file them. Oh, that was fun. Ooh. But these are protective comfies designed to prevent scratching, keep hands cozy, and so, stay on. So Feel how soft. soft they are. So what you do here, and I'm going to try to do this as neatly as possible, is they're so soft. Look how cute the stripes are. Aww. I love them. So you open them up, which they're opened up like this, then you scrunch it, and yeah. then you put them on. It's almost like origami. Cute. But they're so sweet. So hand socks donates to Orphan's Promise each time a pair is sold. That is so wonderful. Amazing. Another part of our gratitude. We love companies that give back. Um, orphans Promise provides shelter, medical care, food, and education to orphans in the U.S. and around the world. So for each pair that you purchase, they donate to them. So I think it's amazing. That's awesome. Um, so the backstory on this is this was invented by a mom. mom. So Virginia mom, Casey Burke Bunn, forgot to pack mittens and layers for her daughter. She used a pair of ski socks to keep her yep. hands and arms warm, and that's how Hand Socks was born. Look, you can. They can actually have their little fingers out. Yep. Too, just to keep like the you know, the, the main head wrong. Yeah. And I know. And if you're in South Florida, mom, you're thinking, oh my gosh. But seriously, it gets so cold inside with the air conditioning. It's, and then a dry and, skin too. And dry skin. Yeah. And they just poor babies. So yeah. these are changing the lives and of if babies. You're traveling. We have a lot of people I know that ski down. You know, in mm -hmm. South Florida, that go to Colorado, that go up north. These would be great for your baby or just visiting grandma. Yeah. Um, a lot of traveling tomorrow probably, so, um, or for the holidays. So you need these for your baby. Definitely. These are great for babies with eczema, baby, great for babies that are in NICU because the heart babies um, always have cold hands. So yeah. it helps everyone. Um, Casey is the mom inventor, like we said. She successfully funded this on Kickstarter. I know, which is amazing. Good for you. Go that crazy. is motivation. Another mompreneur. Yes, we love, love you. It. So there are three different sizes, small, medium, and large. Um, there are no straps, so there's nothing that anyone can get tangled in, which is great. Yeah. They are so soft. I just keep petting them. I know. And it's all like you have to it's do. It's like a whoopee. Right? Oh. And all you have to do is hand wash them, let them air dry, and um, they have these cool prints. They yeah, have all look, these fun and you prints. Can look, and you can reverse it. I love it. So you got... You've got the polka dot side or you've got the little fuzzy side. Yes, and you can also use these to discourage uh, thumb sucking. Put them on. I could have used these. Mm -hmm. Where are awesome. you? 
Anyways, that's what happens. <laughs> you get a great idea, and these moms come up with it. I should have come up with an idea. I know. Well, kudos to them, though. Yes. But kudos to you. Next so, up. Yes. Okay. We're getting there. This is, I told you, there's a lot of great products here. So thank you so much for yes, staying with us. Yes, let us know that us. you're there. Say, give us some thumbs up and give us some smiley faces. Um, we're just so, um, it's all about gratitude this week. We've yes. talked about it at the beginning of the week. And we're just so grateful uh, to be here today and to share with you all these awesome products. So um, I have this product called Baby Elephant Ears. It's an infant support neck pillow. And look at it. It looks like a... Um, Looks like a bow tie oh. or elephant ears, literally. But I mean, look at yeah. how cute it it's is. Like elephant ears, you can see. And um, it's great. So I wish I'd had this for my little one because when I look back now, I think she'd had torticollis, which is when they're inside. This is not why this was invented, but I'll tell you. Um, this is great for um, the stroller, a bouncy swing, a changing table, anywhere the baby just goes. Um, of course, it was invented by a, a mom. mom. So Alicia, who's a mom of four, her second son, Finn, couldn't seem to get comfortable and would cry like all the time. And then the only thing that calmed him down was like, you know, running the vacuum cleaner for hours, which you oh can't God. do that because right. you've got, you know, three other kids. Um, so they went to a ton of doctor's appointments and she met a chiropractor who'd said, I have to read this, I've never heard of this before, had subluxation, mm -hmm. which he basically strained his neck during labor, which I'm wondering maybe, I didn't actually, I had a C-section, but the chiropractor suggested that um, Alicia support their son's neck when in a seated position and when Alicia, um, oh, I lost my paper. Oh yeah, when Alicia, um, you know, was doing certain things with the baby and stuff. So, um, she couldn't find anything. So she, of course, invented her own. So here are the um, elephant ears here. And they're fully washable, fully washable and there's no attachments. And so, um, it's just so cute. It's so, support your baby in style. So, um, I love this because um, it's chiropractor inspired. Um, regionally and ethically manufactured, and it nurtures spinal alignment from zero to two years old. So I wish I'd had this because I started talking about my daughter had torticollis, mm -hmm. and she was like this when she came out. And then I look back on Christmas photos, she was like in the swing, and she was like this, and we were like rolling up like a face cloth. Yeah. But it wasn't, it would start to soften, and it wouldn't, the poor kid ended up having to get a helmet, and she had a soft, but I mean, I wonder like, if you had something like if this, I had it properly. Some properly, you know, and then now she has asthma. You know, you just wonder if, like, <laughs> oh, no. I know she's a hot mess, but she's awesome. But I love it <laughs> that, um, you know, you wonder about these kind of things. You know, you wonder if these just little, easy, easy, just pieces. Inventions. Inventions can help make such a difference in a baby. So um, we love this. We yes. love it. So this is the baby elephant ears. So you can find that. We'll be posting the link. Hello. To that, it's in the Baby Biz, Best Baby Biz magazine. magazine. It's Bib. We like to say Bib, bib just because it's close, but all the bib. links will be there Best for Baby you. Best Baby Biz magazine. Yes. So you can find that in there as well and shop it. Um, one thing I want to talk about, one of the pro products I'm going to talk about, we do not have here because it is large, but yeah. it is a very important product that every family needs when they have a baby. And it's a crib mattress, but this isn't any crib mattress. This is the Safe Sleep Breathe Through crib mattress. So you know if you just had a newborn or you're looking around in the market for mattresses, yeah. um, there's a lot out there. Yeah, I, I, you're so confused on what to get. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. There's a lot. So one thing, and this is kind of ironic, is my friend Lori had texted me and said, my baby is sleeping, this was yesterday, I think. Yeah. Right? My baby is sleeping on her face. Should I roll her over? And I wanted to say, do you have a safe, safe sleep, breathable crib mattress? Because if a baby rolls over at night when they're sleeping and it's Scary. face down on a yeah. normal, like a fiber filled crib mattress and can't roll back, there is a risk of SIDS. I, and that's just, it says it all over the place. You'll read it on your mattress coverage. You'll, your pediatrician will talk to you about that. Um, with this safe, safe sleep, breathe through crib mattress, the baby could actually breathe normally through right. the mattress even if they were face down. Oh wow. Are you serious? Why was why did I not know about this and I had boys? Well they didn't I have, have boys. this. I know. That's the problem. 
so technology. What it, it's amazing. So there's a right. bed of air in between the air permeable mattress top. You don't even need a sheet and the base of the mattress. So if little Lori's baby is face down and she has one. Oh, thanks, oh, Yessie. <laughs> oh, I'll say who's hi. Hi. your daughter. I'm sorry. <laughs> hi, Yessie's daughter. Um, it's really, you know, and you had this, there would be less of a concern. Um, the constant airflow of the mattress helps regulate the baby's te body temperature, which does help with prevention of SIDS. SIDS is like the scariest, the scariest acronym thing, yeah. when you're with baby. Um, it was invented by Julie Andre, a leading expert in safe sleep in babies. So this is the only baby crib mattress that pediatricians actually write prescriptions for. They tell you, especially, especially for infants who want, um, who need to tummy sleep for health reasons, because there are some reasons why you know they never say they always say back to back what is it back to what is the phrase that they used to say i don't know back I had to sleep one, back to sleep because they want you they always tell you that the baby should sleep on their back okay but well i had one who slept on her belly found her thumb and i never heard from her for like a year which was great and the other one <laughs> rolled to her back so that was good but then mm -hmm. her head she slept on her back all the time. So I, I you yeah, can't win. So I wish I had had this breathe through crib mattress. Yeah, I did used to go in. You remember that? And you put your hand up near their nostrils breathing? and you're like, they they're breathing? so still sometimes. Mm -hmm. You're like, you just, you're just, you're just totally neurotic all the time. You just yes. worry. So this would have been, this breathe through crib mattress would have been great I to do. have. Um, another thing that's great about it too is that it's easy to clean. It's eco friendly because it's made um, from recycled materials and is recyclable. Um, there's no chemicals that are used for waterproofing or fireproofing it, so you could be at ease with that. Um, no latex or adhesives used, and they're free of any gassing, which apparently is something that some cribs, crib mattress manufacturers do use. Oh, um, what's even that. better is that it's long lasting, so you can hand it down to your family members or friends that are having babies, knowing that they will have a safe sleep. Um, there's no fill or core to contaminate it. Um, solid construction. Um, it's made in the USA. Nice. That's all I gotta say. It's a lot of uh, USA products here. Yeah, I love yeah. that. It's wonderful. Invented I by moms and dads. It. We love it. Yes, I love it. Let me see our so time here. last, how we do? Wow. Uh oh, twelve fifty-eight. Woo! We're rocking and rolling, people. Yes, yes. Love it. So we love. Here's a, our next product is Finn and Emma, which. I, ha I think Emma was on my list for babies' names. And I, I like love Finn. Name. Actually, J Drew just said she wanted to be named Finley. I'm like, we're not changing you. But I do like <laughs> Finley for a girl. Don't you Anyways, love kids so do here, that. yes. Teething ears. So here is the teething ears from Finn and Emma. They've just got really cute uh, whimsical, baby cute. whimsical products. Aww. Great for filling in that baby shower gift, stocking stuffer for your little one. Um, I remember the first, uh, our first Christmas one of the first ones and she just loved this little bear we got her and she was like oh my bear my bear so yeah. super cute so i'm going to show you the teething ring oh so, well, that's beautiful look at the print on oh that oh my gosh yeah so they do they do beautiful prints um let's see here so modern and fresh colored prints so they call it the little ears it's like little um it's made with love Course, untreated like hardwood. Untreated hardwood. Certified organic, organic cotton. So if they're like rubbing or sucking on it, it's great. And it's got the wood here. It's beautiful. Um, only the finest organic cotton and eco-friendly dyes. So this is like really made with some serious love. Um, these garments and the accessories that they have in their place are fair trade settings that focus on social and economic independence for local people, women especially, working to provide their families in a safe and fair environment. Um, so they have toys and rattles. Oh, it's a rattle. Isn't that so sweet? It. So I love these little things just to hold and play with when they're in the stroller and the swing. These are great little gifts. So this is Finn are they beautiful? And Emma. Beautiful. This is like a sweater kind of material, but I would have loved to have... Um, these little we didn't have like wood wood was not around so I love this um, so Finn and Emma so get your little stocking stuffers baby shower this is like the fun little extra addition to a baby shower gift right. if you're not sure what to do you throw one of these in along with uh, you know your elephant ears and and you will be, be. <laughs> so and your I hands like I, need to, I feel like I need to hug him I know he's so cute I know 
So, we just went through all of the products. It was unbelievable, all of these great products that we were introduced to that are the hottest holiday toys. So, now it's time to share what Bib Magazine's giving away. If you're just tuning in, which I hope if you are, you can always go yeah, back to our I'm replay after to check here. and see if we, um, check and see the other products that, all of the products that we went over, we went yep. over seven all together. Um, Bib Magazine's amazing magazine that has a catalog, as we said before, of the top baby and kids gifts in each issue with deals. And one reader wins everything that they see. So they also have articles on DIY fashion for moms and kids, recipes. So Bib Magazine is giving away a $250 shopping spree. The winner gets to shop from the current catalog and choose any products they want to spend their $250 on. That's, That's crazy. huge. That's that is crazy. unbelievable. Um, so right now it says to enter, just like and comment on this Facebook Live. But we are going to have an entry form so that we can do this collectively and pick a random winner. Um, so don't forget, even though after we're live, you still have a chance to win. Every product that we showed you today, you could also win. And there's a link to enter that in the comments below. So this is such a $250 shopping spree. Totally. She carries hundreds of products, of products. Asides, besides these, Tasha. Um, she prides herself on finding products that are different, like toys and baby wearing and clothing and so yeah. on that are I different and unique. I haven't seen these with my friends. I haven't seen these products, nope. you know, with other people. We didn't even see some of these products at the some of the mommy conventions the we've been to. The conferences that we've been to. So, so. These, this is great. So, um, you know, you can always comment um, when you were commenting, how about tag a friend that might need some of these items or would like to win? Uh, we're showing gratitude this week, so tag a friend or comment with a baby emoji yeah. or tell us which product you like the best or could really use or would want. Yeah, or what you would. Let's say your kids are older and what, which one you wish was around because I, I would say like all of them. But, yeah, you know, which one that you would wish the best? Or the most was yeah. around mm -hmm. when your kids were younger. Okay, so quickly, we'll just do, you want to do a quick recap? Bump it up. So the first one was Fit a Tot, the subscription box, $20 a month, five to eight pieces, super cute on-trend outfits, yep. Pick, keep what you want, pay for what you want, send the rest back. And then we've got the Woombie Air. Mm -hmm. We've got sleep, like, sleeping guides here. Woombie Air and the Woombie Hybrid which has the passy and the sleeves roll off to keep your baby intact but breathing well and getting air flow while they sleep. We have the absolutely gorgeous Baby Bjorn Carrier One Outdoors for you active people. Absolutely beautiful, so well made and very useful, especially if you have a clingy little one. And then we've got the Baby Elephant Ears which a mom designed to help her baby that had some chiropractic needs um, with neck. And you can use this to prop your baby up in the stroller, in the car, uh, in the stroller, in this baby swing, you know, in the bouncy seat when the neck's like going back and forth. And then the hand socks invented by yet another mom, the softest multi-use hand socks I've ever seen. Stopping thumb sucking, helping with eczema, keeping hands warm, stopping scratching. So cute. Love it. Love it. And then we have um, Finn and Emma. A, you know, fun toy rattle, um, little toys for babies um, manufacturer, Finn and Emma. Great for um, stocking stuffers or baby shower gifts. Definitely. And the safe sleep Mattress. Oh, and the safe sleep mattress. We don't have that here. We'll just pretend like we're holding it for your babies, helping to. If they roll over, you're not going to freak out. Yeah, preventing <laughs> any kind of like Sid scares and all that fun yes. stuff. Yes. So, so woohoo! Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to comment below, like everything below. We're going to have a raffle chapter kind of a giveaway. We, we will put live before 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we will advertise as soon as we do so. Um, let's have the giveaway go through Sunday night. Okay. Because we start our Monday other. starts the kids toy giveaway too. So we have so many giveaways, we're gonna be like raffle copter crazy. Yes. But, um, but you have to subscribe mm. to um, SoFlo Moms on the Go to in order to find out how that hottest toys 
Guide 2017. We have a fingerling, we have a Hatchimal, we have... So this one was for the baby and the little tots, and then the next one is for the bigger kids. Yes. So soggy dog, we have a lot of stuff doggy. going on. So you guys need to really set your notifications and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Twitter. Yep. So Flow Moms. So thank you guys for joining us. We hope you enjoyed the show. We hope we introduced you to some cool new products that you can go out and purchase and support mom and dad entrepreneurs yes and uh we will see you sunday night we are going to have a cyber monday show yes where we're talking about the ins and outs of cyber monday what's worth it what's going to be on sale um and that's really it i'm excited I'm cyber excited. monday is more exciting for me yeah than, uh, i love black cyber friday. monday yeah i don't like black friday i might actually head to the mall i think he intentionally comes by he came by three times because he knows that we're live <laughs> <laughs> we have a yard guy out here. <laughs> it's always like that. It's you can't that. control the no, lie. Thanks, Tiffany. Yes. So we will see you Sunday night. Yes. At 8.30, 830 p.m. Because get, grab your glass of wine. Um, the kids will be going back to school or yes. back to daycare or back to whatever, hopefully. Or nowhere. You'll be back to the grind. Yes. But um, everybody have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Yes, please. Happy Thanksgiving. And... Thanks yep. for being a part of our SoFlo Bombs on the Go tribe. Yeah, Happy thanks, Thanksgiving, Susan. Susan. All right, we'll see you. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.